एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम ever heard about the terms prism and pyramids let me explain them in this video hello everyone welcome to s chand academy and i am anmol bhatia uh, the topic for today would be projection of solids and this is the lecture 8 of engineering graphics course and in this lecture we would be studying about the different shapes that consist that are called solids which are prisms and pyramids so let us begin with the video if you want to refer to the book by s chand publishing you can click the link below before we begin the contents of today's video uh, let me just tell you that uh, we have already covered two modules of the course if you haven't watched those videos please watch the videos the link of the video is there in the description box in today's class we would be uh, covering the concept which is projection of regular solids or the projection of solids and the contents which are to be covered are introduction and projection of solids uh, which has different cases and inclined to both the horizontal and vertical plane situation now what happens uh, let us namely understand what is a solid and how it is different from a plane that we understood in the previous section or the previous video so solid is any object that has three dimensions namely length breadth and height so that 3d object is called as solid and we group the solids in two categories category a or group a and group b so group a consists of a solid which is having the top and the base of the same shape supposingly if we talk about a cylinder a cylinder has a circular base and a top is also circular when we join both of the base and the top we'll get a solid which is of category a and category b solid consists of a case in which you have a base of same shape and the top is generally a point let's say if we talk about an example of a cone a cone has a base which is circular base and if we have all the points of the circle and connect all the points together by the topmost point then we get a cone there that is called as that topmost point is called as the apex point so we have two categories of solids and answer to my uh, statement lies in the next part of the uh, video which is this case i had the first situation in which the base and the top were similar example i have given you uh, was of a cylinder but these are technically technically called prisms so prism is any set of solid that has the base and the top as similar and you join all the points to obtain a 3d shape you give it a height let's say if i talk about a triangle i have a base as triangle and the top also as triangle and if i join both of them together i'll get a triangular prism similarly if i have a square and here also a square base and the top both of them are square and i join them uh, join both of them together i'll get a square prism similarly if the shape is a pentagon we'll get a pentagonal prism or a hexagonal prism cube is also an example of a prism the second category is called as a b category which is called as pyramid the example that i have given you was of cone in which the cone has a circular base and if the cone if this circle has some points or the division and if i join all the points together i'll get uh, the topmost point which is called as the apex point some examples would be if the base is triangular and if i join all the vertices together i'll get a triangular prism then if the base is a square one and if i join all the points together i'll get a square prism similarly if the base is a pentagon and if i join all the points together i'll get the pentagonal pyramid we are talking about pyramids hexagon uh, if all the points are 
uh, of hexagon are joined together to the topmost apex point that is called as the hexagonal pyramid. A tetrahedron is also the case of a pyramid. Now there are certain parameters or certain technical terms that you will come across while solving some numericals. And what are those technical terms? Like if I talk about a square prism, I'll have I'll have certain situation uh, which is called as the top, and this one is called as the base. So these two are the terms which are used to indicate the top uh, plane and the bottom plane. This part is called as a face, rectangular face, and you have a longer edge there. If I talk about a square pyramid, so you have a pyramid in which the base is square, name it as a square pyramid. The topmost point is called as an apex point. These slant length is called as the slant edge. This one is technically called as the base and this particular face is called as a triangular face. Now I have told you that if cylinder has the base and the top as circle, so it has these points on which this circle can be made and if I project all the points upward, I will get some generators. So these are called as generators. In case of prism and also in case of a pyramid. In case of pyramid, you have a generator which is uh, a slanted shape and in case of a cylinder, you have generators which are perpendicularly, perpendicular in shape. You will come across the these uh, concepts that I will be telling you in the future course of the slides and these are called as sections of solids. Generally, we have different set of uh, solids. Let us say we have a cone and if I cut that cone, I will get a section. If I have a cylinder, I will cut the section. If I have a square. Uh, pyramid, I cut the section, I will get the section of solid. So, this is basically called as a section of solid. And a cone or a pyramid has generally a frustrum. The section is called as the frustrum of the cone or the frustrum of the pyramids. So, this is let us say a square pyramid and if I cut this from the plane which is parallel to the base, I will get this surface and this surface is called as a frustrum of the pyramid. Similarly, for the cone, I will have this circular base and it is connected with the apex point and if I cut that with the help of a parallel plane, uh, that plane is parallel to the base, I will get the section of this cone and the name is called as the frustrum. So, these are some basic terms and uh, terminologies that we will be using while indicating the solids. So let me just summarize it. We have understood about the basic uh, dif difference between a pyramid and a prism. So a prism is having the base and the top as same and a pyramid is having the base as a single object and when we join all the points together, we will get uh, the shape which is called as a pyramid. And we have certain technical terms and technical definitions related to this and these technical definitions would be helpful in the future course of the numericals. So with this, we come to the end of the first part of the video, uh, namely projection of solids in which uh, the basic terms uh, like pyramids or prisms are being elaborated uh, and in the next upcoming video that is the second part of the same uh, will have a practical example of the similar concept in which we want we would be drawing uh, the projection of solids with the help of certain examples so stay tuned for the second part of the video if uh, you want to refer a book by s chan publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below if you find the video interesting like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.